Welcome to this edition of Burn Tech University, presented by Vogelzang. In today's video, we will show you how to properly replace the brick retainer in your VG900 circulator. This video is for informational purposes only. If you are unsure about replacing any of the components on the stove, we recommend having a certified electrician or stove technician do any repairs for you. The tools needed for today's project are a 3 8 inch wrench and a 7 16 inch wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver. Your stove should be completely cooled before attempting any maintenance or repairs. To successfully complete this project, you will first need to remove the flue collar. Do so by removing the 6 nuts and bolts using the 7 16 inch wrench. To begin, open the cabinet door and locate the thermostat assembly. The thermostat assembly is located on the back side of the front cabinet panel. Then remove the S-hook and chain from the thermostat. You may need to bend the S-hook slightly to remove it. Place the chain aside. Open the lid on the top of the stove. The cabinet will need to be removed in order to easily access the bolts attaching the brick retainer to the stove. To do this, remove the nut and bolt from the bracket coming from the back of the stove to the cabinet. Using the wrench to secure the nut and the number 2 Phillips screwdriver to loosen the bolt and remove it. Repeat this step for the other side. Close the lid on the stove. Now go to the bottom ledge on the front of the stove using the 3 8 inch wrench to remove the four nuts from the weld studs on the bottom of the cabinet. Repeat these steps for the four nuts located on the bottom edge on the back of the cabinet. The cabinet is now completely free from the stove. For this next step, you will need help. Lift the cabinet straight up over the top of the stove, then set it aside. Now open the feed door. Using the 7 16 inch wrench to hold the nut still on the outside, use the flathead screwdriver on the inside of the stove to remove the bolts from the brick retainer. Repeat these steps to remove the remaining two bolts. This will work for either brick retainer. Now that the nuts and bolts are completely removed, pick up and forward to remove the brick retainer from the stove. To install the brick retainer, put it into the stove with the single hole ledge facing down and the ledge with six holes facing upward to the side of the firebox. When the brick retainer is in place and you've lined up the holes in the retainer and the holes in the firebox, then insert and tighten the three nuts and bolts securing the retainer to the side of the firebox. Make sure to tighten completely. These steps for replacing the retainer will work for either side of the stove. You can close the feed door. Now, with some help, lift the cabinet up and replace it over the firebox. Once the cabinet is in place and the weld studs on the bottom of the cabinet are through the stove, replace the nut and bolt attaching the bracket from the stove to the cabinet. Use the wrench to ensure it is tight. Do the same for the other side. Close the lid on the top of the cabinet. Then, going to the bottom ledge on the front of the stove, replace the nuts on the four weld studs using your wrench. After this step is completed, repeat for the opposite side. After the cabinet is back in place, you must reattach the chain from the stove to the thermostat. To do this, slide the S-hook that is connected to the chain through the hole on the right side of the thermostat. Bend the S-hook back together if it is too loose. Now that your project is complete, you can shut the cabinet door and are ready to operate your stove. Once again, this video is for informational purposes only. We strongly recommend a certified electrician or stove technician to do any repairs for you. If you need further assistance or have any questions, please visit us at vogelzang.com or give us a call at 1-800-222-6950. Thanks for watching this edition of Burn Tech University.